Hey guys, welcome to Tuesday, March 31st. Today you're going to need a barbell, but if you don't have a barbell, you can easily use two different heavy objects, two dumbbells, two kettlebells, what have you, and a box, chair, or stairs nearby for step ups. Stay tuned for a dynamic warm up, <laughs> and I'll be back with the strength portion shortly. All right, let's start with some dynamic warm ups. Today I want to start with some hip circles going both directions. It's actually going to be four reps to make one rep, and we're going to do 10 of these. So, first with the right leg, bring the knee up, rotate it backward, then take the left leg, knee up, rotate it backward, right leg up to the side and forward, left leg up to the side and forward. We're going to do a series of one, two, three, four. That's two. And keep going till ten. Three, four, five, <laughs> six. And 10. Next, we'll just do some jumping jacks. We're gonna do 20 today. And lunged twist. So lunge it out. Make sure there's a 90 degree angle on that front leg. Twist over that front leg. You should feel it in the hips. And come back up. Left leg down. 90 or so degrees in that front leg. Twist over. And back up. We're going to do 10 total, five each side. Again, trying to keep that front knee at a 90. All right. Let's do some shoulder circles. Start them nice and big and forward. Cross those hands over in front. Nice and big. Slowly bring them to tighter circles. Out to the side, still going forward, so they're nice and tight, and then stop and switch directions, tight circles backwards, pinching those shoulder blades, slowly widening those circles until the hands are crossing over again. Good, great job. Let's do some squats, five air squats, and then we'll do five squat jumps. So five air squats with a pause, three seconds at the bottom, hips forward, knees out, come back up. Five of those. And then squat jumps. So hands back, down, up. Try to absorb that landing as much as possible. Five of these. Good. Got some mountain climbers coming. So let's just do five slow mountain climbers with that kind of greatest stretch in the world variation. And then five fast ones. So it'll look like this. Bring that foot next to the right foot next to the right hand look up feel the stretch back out left foot by the left hand look up feel the stretch do six of these actually so we're even 
First, first round's nice and slow. Six reps of the big mountain climbers. And then we're gonna go into traditional mountain climbers, which is just knees to the chest. Six of those. Okay, should be warm. Press pause, grab a drink of water, and we'll get back to the next session. For today's strength portion, we've got another superset. Uh, the first movement is yoga push-ups. I'll show you those in a second. Yoga push-ups, you're going to do four sets of 10 to 15 reps on the yoga push-ups. Rest for 30 seconds. Then you're going to do barbell curls. Four sets of 10 to 15. If you don't have a barbell, that's okay. That's what we're using those other two heavy objects for. Um, and then you're going to rest 30 seconds, go right back to those yoga push-ups. Okay, so for a yoga push-up, take off my sweatshirt so you can see. Yoga push-ups look like this. Make that downward dog. Try if you can, get those heels to the ground, butt up to the sky, making that V hinged at the hips, or A, making that A. Then you're gonna come forward into a push-up, back into downward dog. Forward, back, forward, 10 to 15 reps of those. Movie magic. Pause. For barbell curls, if you have a barbell, an empty barbell just sitting around the house, or you've borrowed one from us, um, find that grip about shoulder width there, curl it up and back down. You can add weight to that if you want. You're doing 10 to 15 reps four times, so add weight accordingly if you do add weight i notice my humerus is staying in line with my torso there perpendicular to the ground all right if you don't have a barbell no problem dumbbells work if you don't have dumbbells Kettlebells work. I only have, I only have two 15s, so. But kettlebells will work. If you have a fancy watch, you may want to turn that thing around before the kettlebell hits the other side of your wrist there. But you can do them with kettlebells. You can do them with any heavy object you've got. If you only have one heavy object, and just do 15, 10 to 15 reps per side and switch. We're flexible here. All right, so remember, yoga push-ups, first movement, 10 to 15 reps, rest 30 seconds, start that running clock, rest 30 seconds after the yoga push-ups, roll right into barbell curls or whatever objects you have to curl, rest 30 seconds, back up to the yoga push-ups, four sets of each, Press pause, have fun, and I will see you shortly for conditioning. All right, welcome back after that strength there. For conditioning, today we have four rounds, 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest of sit-ups. First minute, I prefer ab mat for those if you've got it. Okay, that's a terrible throw. But if you don't have an ab mat, which looks like this, uh, use pillow. Boom, right down by the tailbone, tuck it in, butterfly the legs, feet together, back, touch the ground, up, back, touch the ground, up, shoulders, cross the plane of the hips, okay? Touch your feet, go back, and up. If you have no ab mat, no pillow, no towel, no folded sweatshirt that'll work. You can do reverse crunches, find a fixed object behind your head, legs out to a straight leg raise, about six inches out the floor, 
bring the knees in, tailbone up and back out to that straight leg raise. Do reverse crunches instead of ab mats if you want. If you need to make that even easier, just keep the knees bent. Okay? Sit up options there. So you'll do 30 seconds of sit ups, rest for 30 seconds. Then you'll go right into step ups, alternating step ups, get this pillow out of the way. Uh, step ups, you can use anything. If you've got a box, awesome. If you just have a bucket, that's fine. Be careful, make sure you step into the center. Extend everything. Hips straight, fully extended. Back down, alternate. Alternating step ups. If you need to use your stairs, use your stairs. All of that will work. After the step ups, we're doing alternating dumbbell snatches. You've seen these in the CrossFit Open, I'm sure. But if not, that's okay. You preferably use a dumbbell for these, but if you don't have a dumbbell, a kettlebell will work. I'll show you that in a second. Um, but, and you're gonna work on switching hands in the air for these. I'll show you both methods, but. So it's down between your legs. You're gonna grab it. Your midline is nice and locked. See my back is set. You're gonna use your legs and bring it on up. Back down, again, it's gonna look like this. Shrug, bring that elbow high, bring the dumbbell up over your head. Here is where you wanna switch. Hands, come down and up. Switch hands, come down and up. Try to incorporate that snatch movement where you shrug and bring that elbow high to get that dumbbell over your head. Now, if switching in the air is too complicated for you right now, no problem. Let it come down to the dead weight. Bring it back up. You can do that method as well. If you only have a kettlebell, it still works. Careful of that kettlebell slapping the other side of your wrist. You kind of want to find a way to Take it easy. Ow. See, not like that. <laughs> so a looser grip on that kettlebell to drive and kind of slide your hand and forearm up into that handle to avoid that kettlebell crashing on your forearm. You can use pretty much any heavy object for those. Just make sure it's something you can hold well, especially since you're going over your head with those. And last is the jumping lunge. We've done these before. Um, to make sure you're doing it right, I kind of like to start in the lunge mode just for safety. Try to find the 90-90, jump up, and just switch. Okay. If you go straight into them, sometimes you might land funny and too far over your foot with that knee on the first one. That's why I like to start lunged out and switch. So that four rounds, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, will end up being 16 minutes of work. First minute, sit-ups for 30 seconds, rest 30 seconds. Second minute, step-ups, alternating step-ups for 30 seconds, rest 30 seconds. Third minute, alternating dumbbell snatches for 30 seconds, rest for 30 seconds. Last minute, last movement of that first round is jump lunges, 30 seconds of jump lunges, 30 seconds of rest. Try to keep those rep counts each round consistent within five reps of each other. And the score today in Sugar Wad, if you're using sugar wad is the lowest rep count per movement so keep track of those rep counts each movement if you can find a piece of paper that's it folks press pause enjoy that conditioning round
Welcome back. Great job on conditioning. We've got a finisher today. We've got hollow rocks, two solid minutes, as many hollow rocks as you can do. So the hollow rock looks like this guy down on the floor, kind of making a bowl with your body. The only portion of your body that's touching the ground is your, your lower back and your butt, tailbone. And you're gonna go from that hollow hold into a rock, up, down. If rocking, if you're not there yet on the strength, as far as doing a rock with that hollow position, just do a hollow hold for as long as you can. Get that two minutes in. If you're just doing a hollow hold, do two minutes worth of a hollow hold. So if you have to break at 45 seconds, for instance, start the clock again, get another 45 seconds, then do another 30 seconds. Get that total two minutes in if you're doing a hold instead of the actual hollow rocks. All right, press pause and go to it. Welcome back. Now for the shutdown challenge. The reps will be in your description. I'm gonna demo the movements right now. First you have ab mats. If you don't have an ab mat, you can use a folded sweatshirt. You can even use a couch pillow, small pillow. Uh, tuck that object of cushion, lumbar support up against your tailbone. Feet face each other. Your legs are in the butterfly position. Back, touch the ground, up. Make sure your shoulders cross the plane. That's an ab mat sit up. Next, after that is lunges. It's pretty straightforward. Try to find that 90 in the knee. Don't track too far over the toe. Stand back up. Same thing. Alternate legs. Make sure that strides wide enough to find that 90. After lunges, push ups. Push ups look like this. Chest to the ground if you can. Knees, if you can't do feet from the foot position. And if you need to scale even further, find a bench, ottoman, chair, and do the push-ups to the bench. And last but not least, we have burpees. Burpees, drop to the floor, jump up. Or up downs or squat thrusts, plank out, up. Okay, enjoy that challenge. We'll see you tomorrow for the next stay at home get ripped workout. Thanks so much, you guys. Hey, folks, really appreciate you tuning in. Please do us a favor press that like button, subscribe, find us on Facebook. Find us on Instagram, like us, like us, follow us, follow us. Stay healthy.